I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. On the next few briefs, I'm going to be building a PC, putting the PC in this fish tank, and then filling the fish tank with a mild laxative. I have an Intel Core 2 Duo processor, 3 gigahertz. I'll take it out of its package. If you've never seen a processor, it's a thing of beauty. Take a look at this. All right, so now this goes on the motherboard, and this motherboard is an F an XFX. I can't say that. XFX motherboard. All right, slip it in there on the motherboard. Close, and we're going to lock. A lot of things when building a PC take more force than you feel comfortable giving, but you learn that it's okay to give force on a motherboard as long as you don't smash it into pieces. This is an Arctic Cooling Freezer 7 Pro, and it has the thermal compound already on it, which is awesome. There we go. I am just trying to get this into place, and it's harder than it looks. The kit that I'm working with is from PugetSystems.com. You can buy the kit, get your motherboard, get your hard drive and everything. And now I'm going to put this on here. Now, I'm going to take this, lift the motherboard up, because I need a little bit of room underneath. That's Windows, by the way. Windows Vista. What's going on this? I'm going to snap this in. It's great that it doesn't have screws. And I'm going to plug the CPU into the motherboard. There we go. All right, so the next step, we are going to put the RAM in. I have four gigabytes of OCZ Reaper RAM. And if you've never attached RAM and you're going to do it for the very first time, just be aware it takes a lot of pressure. More pressure than you think you're going to have to give it. But it's okay. That was the hardest part of building my first PC. You just Kind of wiggle it in. There we go. See, just more pressure than you feel like you should give it. And for the other one, rocking side to side, and one side and the other side. Now we move on. We have the HDD LED and the power LED lights. They go over here. All right, that's good to go. Now, what I'm gonna do before I start plugging everything else in is attach it to the kit, the fish tank kit that I got from Puget Systems. And what this is gonna do, we're gonna put the motherboard here, and then we're gonna drop it in and attach everything. All right, let's get you here. This is when you know you've gone too far when you talk to your components like they're children. <laughs> you know, it's amazing how much more comfortable I feel with the components, with the motherboard, working with them the second time around. It really goes to show you do something once and it takes the fear out of it. Except for this whole mineral oil thing, I'm a little bit scared about that. <laughs> okay, we are attached. Now I'm gonna put the hard drive in. I'm gonna screw it in on this rack. This is my very first solid state drive. I'm so excited. It's a 120 gigabyte solid state drive. There we go. Whoops. <laughs> As always, when you're screwing something in, it's a little easier just to get stuff started on all sides and then tighten from there. All right, we're in. Move that stuff away. Get up here a little bit. Right, this is data we're plugging in. Power. Okay. We have a couple of other things to plug in. Like the power supply, uh, but I'm going to go 
go ahead and wait. Well, no, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take a risk and plug it in before we put it into the fish tank. I'm just probably going to need a second couple of hands to help with all the lifting and organizing. You can't have an aquarium without rocks. So let's put it in. Whoa. Sorry for the noise. Here we go. Now I won't be putting any fish in here. They wouldn't survive the mineral oil. Whoa, blue hand. <laughs> That's what jeans are for. <laughs> okay. So Neil, I'm gonna need your help. Before we put it, let me let me plug the power in. Okay, now we're ready. So that's going to go on the bottom. Should you attach this? I should attach that. Yes, you're right. Whew, we have an issue. It's not fitting. It's not because of the rocks. Everything is just not meshing at all. So uh, we're going to leave it at that for today and come back tomorrow with another brief and see if we can get it all fit in there and then power it on, windows installed and everything. All right. Use promo codes GB1, GB2, or GB3 at checkout at GoDaddy.com to save you money. I'm Kelly Lewis. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.